Hi students, in this video we will solve question number 1 from the chapter straight lines that is exercise 10.1 from first PU syllabus. So let us check the very first question of the exercise 10.1. Draw a quadrilateral in Cartesian plane whose vertices are there are four vertices given and also find its area. We are given the vertices of a quadrilateral and we have to find the area of it. Before that we have to draw the quadrilateral. We are considering the rectangular coordinate system and marking origin also. First let us mark these points minus 4 comma 5 that is x is negative y coordinate is positive. So the point is this minus 4 comma 5. The next point is 0 comma 7 which is x coordinate is 0 that is on y axis and y coordinate is 7. So the point is here. Then 5 comma minus 5 x coordinate is positive and y coordinate is negative. So the point is this. Then minus 4 comma minus 2 x and y coordinate both are negative so the point is here and we will join all these four points that we have just marked which form a quadrilateral and these points are vertices of a quadrilateral we have just drawn this now we are marking the points and we will name these vertices as a b c d okay now i have written whatever we just constructed now let ABCD be the quadrilateral with vertices. These are the four vertices of the quadrilateral. Then we have joined these four points. First we marked the points. Then we joined those points to form the quadrilateral. This is a quadrilateral. This is not a square. If this were to be a square, then we would easily find the area of the square because we know the formula. This is also not a rectangle. Again, we know the formula to find the area of the rectangle. This is not a rectangle. So what we are going to do is we will join one of the diagonals or we will draw one of the diagonals. Now I'm joining A and C to form the diagonal. When we draw the diagonal, we can see that there is a triangle formed, correct? Triangle ABC and triangle ACD. There are two triangles. When we know the vertices of the triangle, we can always find the area of the triangle. We already know a formula for that. So using that, we will find the area of this triangle and add with the area of this triangle to get the area of the quadrilateral. Is this clear now? Yes. We could have drawn this diagonal also, BD. We could have drawn this diagonal also by joining B and D. Then we would get two triangles as ABD and B, C, D. Again, we will follow the same procedure of finding the area of the triangles and adding them to get the area of the quadrilateral. So, accordingly, area of the quadrilateral is as per the diagonal that we have considered, area would be area of the triangle A, B, C and area of the triangle A, C, D. Now, what is the formula for finding the area of the triangle when we know three vertices of the triangle? That is half into x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 with modulus where this x1 y1 x2 y2 and x3 y3 are the vertices of the triangle. Why do we have to consider modulus? While simplifying this we may get a negative value and area of the triangle cannot be negative so we are considering modulus and we consider only the positive quantity. So now let us find the area of the triangle ABC. These are the three vertices of the triangle ABC which is x1, y1, x2, y2 and x3, y3. Now when we are finding the area of the triangle there is no rule that you have to follow a particular pattern. You can consider any of the vertex as x1, y1 and x2, y2 and x3, y3. So let us substitute for this formula now. x1 is minus 4. Correct? We have written it here. y2 minus y3. y2 minus y3 which will be 7 plus 5 plus x2 into x2 is 0 in this case. So 0 into 0 into anything would be 0 but still we will write it y3 minus y1. y3 minus y1. So minus 5 minus 5 plus x3 that is 5 into y1 minus y2. 5 minus 7 unit square. Since we don't know what is the unit of this, whether it is centimeters, meters, nothing is given. So, we are writing square units or unit square. So, this whole thing with half and modulus will remain as it is. Now, after simplifying this, what we get is half into modulus of minus 58 square unit. See, we got a negative value, but area cannot be negative. So, we are considering only the positive quantity. So, it is 58 by 2 square units, which is 29 square units. So area of the triangle ABC is 29 square units. 
Now we are going to find the area of the triangle ACD with the same formula. So these are the three points. So what is the triangle? It is A, C, D. These three points we are going to consider for X1, Y1, X2, Y2 and X3, Y3. So it is this. Now we will substitute half into modulus of X1 is minus 4, Y2 minus Y3. So this minus this which will be minus 2 plus 5 plus X2. X2 is 5 in this case 5 into y3 minus y1 y3 minus y1 is minus 2 minus 5 plus x3 x3 is minus 4 y1 minus y2 y1 minus y2 is 5 plus 5 so after simplification we get the area of the triangle to be half into modulus of minus 63 square units now again it is negative value that we have got so we are considering the modulus we consider only the positive quantity and our area is 63 by 2 square units. Now we will find the area of the quadrilateral ABCD that is area of triangle ABC plus area of triangle ACD. So this is 29 plus 63 by 2. After taking LCM this is what we get the area of the quadrilateral as that is area of the quadrilateral ABCD is 121 by 2 square units.